Whiskey Fancies. I'm Chris. And I'm Kara. Uh, what do we have today, Kara? Chattanooga. <laughs> Port finish. Nice. What else? I'm love... extremely happy for I really it. like Chattanooga. So I'm excited. I like their bottle design. I like the whiskey. They use some funky malts in there mm -hmm. that I think is fun. This is another Tennessee high malt. So not all Tennessee whiskey is bad. I normally don't like Tennessee whiskey. Mm -hmm. This is... This is the exception. I think Ooh. I think tennis that Chattanooga is doing some amazing things. This comes in at ninety five proof, so forty seven point five. Look at the color of it. It is dark. This is one of those limited wow. edition finishings, and unfortunately, they don't give us the exact mash bill. All we mm -hmm. do know is that it's been it's greater than four three years, which I always find their weird their wording to be a little backwards yeah but that's okay and the finishing time is more than six months again very strange small batches they only do about six hmm. to seven barrels per batch when it when they get into this experimental series I, I that's all the the facts I have for you it has the no it smell. smells like an alcoholic gummy bear oh, wow that's actually like, not an exaggeration like strawberries so. though damn do you gummy, get, bears. Do you gummy bears gummy bears we can find gummy bears. Okay, depending on if this tastes like it, I can actually have a bourbon that I can drink while eating gummy bears if this works out. Oh, yes. Ugh. Is it almost a little strawberry? Like the fake strawberry yeah. flavoring? I can see that. I, it smells like a strawberry gummy bear to me. All I'm getting is just... Not quite Australian liquor. I can't, you know I can't I mean? get over it. It's, it's, it's like a reddish orange it's, it is it's coppery dark coppery mm. it's like what happens to the sky out here in california when there are fires yes that's what it looks like when the sun sets hmm. that smells amazing go for it i get to next wow that's creamy that's extremely creamy what the hell? It almost has like an orange marmalade flavor to it and the end, I, I, right? I do get citrus, yeah. Like you have an orange something. I don't Jam. know if it's because of the different malt. They use a high malt recipe, and I don't mm -hmm. know if it's that what makes me so intrigued because it's so different. And so when I t taste mm -hmm. a Chattanooga whiskey, I'm always excited because it's different. I don't get a heavy influence of what a traditional tawny port would be on I don't, this but i think i think maybe because can I say i've never had tawny port by itself true oh i've had port but mm -hmm. it's been ages because i don't care for it yeah but I, I i don't get any of that in here so i'm thinking that whatever these unique malts now i i wonder if it's the same malt that they have like in their oh, regular they're... expressions where it's the caramel malted call the caramel what is yeah. it yeah so many. So many malted. So many malts that are just unique, but I think hides the age well, and it brings out a lot of flavor. I I like enjoy this. Enjoy it. All this the is, time. but this is almost a dessert whiskey. It is. The malt right? does come through right on the uh, mid palate, doesn't? I couldn't drink this on a hot night, hot humid night. I couldn't. Is it too thick? I think it's it. I it's think almost the like creaminess, cloy. the creaminess and the sweetness. It's almost cloyingly it. sweet. If it yeah. was too hot, if you live in a humid climate, I don't think you could drink this on a hot, humid night. It's Unless a little you're in too. Air it feels a little too like mm -hmm. thick. But then again, how, how what whiskeys can you really? At that point, you're just like you try. Shoot me. I, I think that's like a flowering honey on the nose with the gummy bears. That are coming out. A little floor. I get floor. Yeah. God, I just want a goddamn gummy bear now. I think it actually will hold hold up. I think so. It'll hold up. I'm gonna try this gummy bear theory. Oh. What I like is you get the fruit mm. in the beginning, mm -hmm. and what just what I'm expecting it to go that super, like that bourbony sweetness because it's not a bourbon and it's a whiskey, and I think there's a lot more malt than traditional. It, it kicks in a little malted flavor that balances it nice. Ew. How would you say that? Like, malty, you, the best representation of maltiness is really scotch, right? Yeah. 
so to have it in this form is different. I don't know how to explain it. More besides, drink. delicious. It's sweet and delicious. There's right. no smokiness because it's not mm -hmm. that type of whiskey. The more I drink it, yeah. I'm getting almost like a fruity oat bran cupcake. If you keep drinking it. Okay. That branny. Bran yeah. After the first few sips, I didn't get it, but now that I keep going back to it, it's standing out more. It reminds me. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You know that but, flavor mm -hmm. that I get in my one of my favorite Lee Sinclair. Yeah, a little bit. I equate that in in that Lee Sinclair. I get mm -hmm. raisin bran mm -hmm. because of that fruitness. This, yeah, this is, is uh, the dark fruits that one. This is different. This is like. I don't know. It's almost like plums. Yeah. It's got this gummy bear nose. I want gummies now. I'm gonna buy a big This bag is of really gummies. delicious. I am so stoked that I can have gummy bears now with a whiskey. Okay. I'm so happy for you. That's the happiest part of like tonight. Ooh. Did it make your weekend? Totally too, because you know you play video games. You you know you want to chew on some gummies or some candy or whatever with some whiskey, but you can't because it just mess up the goddamn right. whiskey. Now I found one. Oh, but I got to do it sparingly because you can't really get these anymore. Why? Oh, no. Why does that happen? I, I found it and I can't find it ever again. That's the the downside of barrel like a experimental <clears throat> series. But you know what? That's why we I bought a well, backup bottle. I, I don't know if it, it really is an experimental because look, it's in the same kind of labeling as like the rye and stuff so oh, I don't want to. it says limited I don't want to I don't want to okay maybe they'll release it again this year release it next again next year if it's popular maybe you should and release more maybe you should start a petition okay but see how it says our batch size is six to seven barrels maybe you should it grow on that maybe do you know a 30 to 50 batch barrel size? I think she's speaking to Chattanooga yeah through the camera like do it. I love what they're doing. They're fun. Mm -hmm. I need my candy bourbon chat. Come on, let's go. Oh, this is opening up on the nose to just be more pleasant and not like it wasn't pleasant, but the ethanol obviously after sitting out for a little bit. This is oh, this is so good. I was reading all the stuff about malt on the side. I, I really like this right now, but I think if I was in another mood where I just wanted a, a nice, deep, rich whiskey, it's not this. It, one. it was not this one. It's different. Yeah, it, it's not bourbon. It's it's like candy gravy in a cup. It's amazing, candy gravy. Yeah, I'm hoping you're saying that because of the thickness. Why gravy? Possibly. Just came out. Kind of got. It got weird, but it came out, and I went with it, and I tried to sell it. Okay. Because it is thick. It is thick. It's it's very oily it's, it's, and creamy. It's delicious. It is. Considering it's no less than three years. Okay, well, it's only 95%, so you could drink it for a while before you... Yeah. It's okay. Before you can't get up. It's okay. I'm really loving this on the nose. I'm just going back to it. There are certain whiskeys that I find mm. that I hold it longer just to smell it. It's almost becoming like a fig Newton now. Really? Ooh, that's actually a mm -hmm. great description because you get that, you know the crust Well, I'm up. glad it's a great description. That's what I'm getting. Be well, you know the natural fi um, bars that are similar to fig Newton that we used to get? Oh, yeah. I, I can't remember the they brand. They were actually good considering they're, really they're good, natural. But the outside was less white wheat, mm -hmm. but more of that grainy stuff that almost Reminds me of the brand. Yeah, maybe that's where I'm getting like with oh. the delicious center that's almost raspberry, mm -hmm. slightly plumber. Um, what's that fig? I'm getting like a, a mixed berry wow. oat brand muffin. Also, another one of my favorites. Mixed oh. berry oat brand muffins. I hmm. love those. A lot of people kind of shy away from brand muffins. Maybe me. I'm maybe I'm really old. I don't know. You are. They're there. If they're done right, they're delicious. Because they're rich. That's why you add mixed berries. Or apples and honey. I like this. 
This is delicious. Do you fancy this whiskey? I more than fancy this whiskey. Oh, she's in love with this whiskey. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>